Hello and welcome back. So let's prepare for the profile editing here uh, before we continue on, right? But before we even do that, let's make sure that we are secure here because right now anyone can actually view the, the admin section here. I don't think they even need to be logged in. So let's try to prove that. I'm going to click on sign out. Sign out doesn't even have anything here. So let's change that. Let me go to my uh, admin header and let me find sign out. Let me remove the case sensitivity here so it can, yeah. So sign out should lead somewhere. And in this case, we'll put root slash log out okay great so if i refresh now and click sign out boom okay we are here now if i change the slash home to slash admin you see that uh, it logs me in but there is no username here if i go to profile uh no profile was found even but this is not cool. We shouldn't be able to see the dashboard if we are not even logged in. So let's put some security there. I'm going to go to the admin controller and right here, what I can do is uh, from here, I will, I'll add an if statement right here. So I'm going to say if auth, okay, logged in. Now I only care if the user is not logged in, otherwise uh, there's no need to care at all. So here, if the user is not logged in, let's redirect the user somewhere else wait is oh okay redirect to uh, the login page for example okay great let me copy this so it's up to you where you want to redirect them uh also what you can do is you can put a message here this is a good candidate for the message uh, please log in to view the admin section okay great so copy and let's do the same here as well all right then okay cool let me see if that works at all so i'm going to click on dashboard and there we go please log in to view the admin section Okay, very good. Log in, but it doesn't take me to the admin. We'll fix that. So it takes you exactly where you were before you were logged out accidentally or necessarily. So back to the dashboard here and security is much tighter, which is nice. Then let's go to the profile section here. And um, we need these in the table so at least a bio or about and then company job so that you know how to add extra fields if you need to so let's do that i'm going to go to now there are two ways to do this you can put these extra fields in a different table entirely and then you just read both tables as one but that can complicate things so Let's just put them in the same table to simplify things. Okay, so how many of these do we need? We need about, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's add six more columns. Great, so there's a uh, about. About can be variable character, depending uh, how much information you want the user to write. Maybe here you can put it at text if you want them to have unlimited space. But I think an about section can be 
conveyed in 2048 characters. So you can put whatever you need there. So let's go company, job, country. So company, job, country. Uh, what else? Address phone. Okay, so phone number, you may be tempted to put integer, uh, but that depends. If phone numbers in your country start with zero, just keep in mind that an integer will not store a zero at the beginning. It will always remove that zero because zero one will be saved as one. So you may want to save as variable character. I don't know how many characters in your phone number, but let's put 10 there. Address, I think, is one of those things with 1024. Country, uh, I don't know how long country names are. Let's put 100. You can figure that out. Let's put 100 there as well. Same with company, let's put 100. Okay, now these, all these we've added here are extra fields, which means they are not really required when somebody's logging in. So make sure you tick the no here to make sure that a row can be added without them. Okay, so a no value can be acceptable in these. Otherwise, if you don't tick this and you don't provide company, the table, the row might not save because there's missing value there. So I'm going to hit save. Okay. And one last one, I'm going to add a slug there. This is the URL, uh, uh, what do you call this? URL friendly name ID for a text ID for your user, but a URL friendly one. So I can explain this a little bit. Let me put 100 there and save. This one is required so we don't select no and then we add uh, an index because we will be using that to index so for example let's say <clears throat> let's say you log you sign up a user called john john bates so the slug will look something like john dash bates so this is a url friendly version of this name any special characters in here, exclamation marks and hash or whatever, will be removed to only leave a clean version like this. The advantage of this is like, uh, in case somebody is searching for this instructor online, the URL or link to their profile will contain their name as well which will increase the chances that somebody will find them. This is different from, let's say you have a URL where it says uh, udemy.com uh, slash profile slash 45. You see, this link is properly valid as we are doing in the admin section because you can get a profile like this, but it's meaningless if somebody is searching for this particular instructor because 45 has nothing to do with their name, but it might be better if the URL has something like this, you see. So udemy.com profile John Bates. At least now you know this must be John Bates's profile on udemy.com. So that's why we're adding the slug so we can create that. Okie dokie. Now, in order for the slug to work, we'll need a function that will convert their name, the name that we give, into a URL friendly version. Now we can create that function or I can just copy what I already have that I've been using because I've developed it over some time after trial and error. So if I try to create it here, I will definitely fail. So we will add that function to the, um, let's see here. Since we'll be using it a lot, uh, I don't want to add it to the user 
class because we will use it even for courses and stuff. So I'll put it in the functions.php page right there. Okay, so I'll copy and paste the function and then we can take a look at it. So paste and this is the function. Righty then. So what this function does is it uses regular expressions, like you can see here pretty much, to clean out all characters that are not just normal text or numbers. So if it's not normal text and number, remove it. And then, uh, for example, spaces are replaced with dash. Whatever strange characters were there are replaced with a dash. We remove these single quotes to start with then we remove any weird characters. Uh, then if there are any, um, what's this, dashes at the very end of the string or at the beginning, we trim them out, we remove those because they are not nice. And then we convert all uh, characters to UTF-8 just to make sure they are human readable. And then we change it to a lower uh, version, sorry, lowercase characters we don't want capital letters because sometimes uh, that may interfere with uh, the url and then uh, what does this do this means whatever is not this should be replaced should be removed completely so anything that isn't human readable out any special weird characters out remove them, replace with an empty string, and then uh, that's it. So we'll be calling this function when we need it. Alrighty then, so with all that, we are ready to uh, edit a profile, right? Let me click browse here a second. So you see these guys are empty. Now in this case of this one, we're going to create our own slug just to give them a slug because this is already an established uh, user. So the slug for this one would be Mary Jane. So I'm going to do this and just type it, small letters, Mary dash Jane and save it. Okay, but the rest will be auto-created by that function. Very nice. All right, I'll see you in the next video.